Hey guys, and welcome to week two, your demos on looking at the effects of different variables on reaction rates. So for this demo, we're gonna look at the effects of temperature. On this side, I just have regular room temperature water. You guys can see the steam coming off of this one. On the right, I have water that I've heated up to a super, super high temperature. It was boiling about a minute ago. And so I'm gonna use my Alka-Seltzer tablets again, and I'm gonna see the effects of heat. So if one reacts faster in hotter or colder water. Right, I'll do the exact same thing I did, where I will tell you guys the times that it takes for each of these to finish reacting. Right, so I'll put them in in three, two, one. Let's see. Oh my God. Wow. As you guys can see, the one in the hot water just immediately started reacting super, super fast. The one in the cold water is doing exactly what the other ones have been doing. All right, so the one in the hot water, wow, that was really fast. Uh, the one in the hot water is done reacting at 18 seconds. And the one in the room temperature water, the tablet is still like completely whole. Um, yeah, this one's completely done now, wow. And then the full tablet, it's still going in the cold water. Full tablet in the cold water is all done at about 44 seconds. And you can still see the bubbles in this one. This one is completely dissolved already in the hot water.